Fellow citizens, I want to take a few minutes to update the community on what has taken place this past week. As some of you may know, the borough recently asked residents to complete a COVID-19 awareness and impact survey. We received over 500 submissions. Staff has posted the results of this survey on our website. I want to address three main issues that, that stood out to me in the results of the survey. Obviously, there are people concerned about the, uh, some guidance and response to students or other visitors that may not be following the stay-at-home orders and social distancing guidelines. I can assure you that the police and, the, and borough staff are doing everything within their legal authority to deal with this problem, and it's clear that we need to, a better way to tell this story. Also, there's a concern about visitors from out of state, particularly heavily uh, hit states uh, with the virus, uh, and uh, whether or not there is some way we can control that. We cannot control that. The governor has suggested that anyone from out of state, traveling from out of state that comes into Pennsylvania, should self-quarantine for 14 days. The county has also uh, reinforced that message. However, it's, there is no enforcement mechanism in place for local authorities to deal with it. So it's a voluntary action on the part of the visitors and there's not really much more that can be done about it. <clears throat> Second issue was the uh, question of informing residents as to what to do if they're experiencing symptoms. Um, now, I think many of you probably have seen all kinds of advice on this, so it might seem a bit repetitive for me to go through this again, but I want to do that because it's extremely important. If you are uh, experiencing symptoms, fever, coughing, difficulty breathing, diarrhea, <clears throat> you need to obviously be self-quarantining and to the degree that the symptoms uh, uh, become worse, you need to call your physician and set up an appointment. And the, official will set a, uh, the, the physician will set up an appointment for you for a testing. You should not go directly to a testing facility. You need an uh, a, a appointment there, and you, and you need, in some cases, even perhaps a prescription. So it's important to call your physician first. The final issue that, uh, that the survey uh, highlighted was a question of communications from the borough to the residents. This is always a problem in any organization, and whenever a survey is given in an organization, one of the issues that always comes up is communication. It's very difficult to know how exactly to communicate with, a, with the vast majority of residents because each resident has different viewing habits, different uh, finds information in different ways or doesn't find information at all for one reason or another. Uh, this is always a problem. So let's, let's just continue to emphasize that check the website, the borough website. It's extremely important. That's where you're going to get the daily updates and you should, uh, and, and all the information that you need that's critical information. So that's www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. Now, we are dealing with these survey results in other ways, of course. The, an internal staff team has been appointed and will be meeting next week to discuss all the data and issues that were highlighted in the survey and provide a report to me and to you on how the organization is addressing those issues. So I want to thank everyone who participated in the survey. It's been it's great help. We are all in this together, so thanks again for your participation. For the parents in State College of school-aged children, the State College Area School District is offering free meals for children 18 and under. The weekly meal kits have enough food for breakfast and lunch for five days. To register or learn more about the program, please visit this website, www.scasd.org backslash free meals.
Let me say that again. www.scasd.org backslash free meals. Also, one of the questions that has been raised by the community is what municipal services have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic? This week, the borough has launched a service dashboard to show residents what municipal services have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. You can access this dashboard at, again, <clears throat> www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. <clears throat> I also want to reiterate the, uh, the, the stay at home challenge that the, uh, was initiated last week. Participation is easy. Just decorate your door, your mailbox, your window, your driveway, etc., and showing support to those still working during the COVID-19 and share your photos with us by tagging us on social media. The Center County United Way asked me to make you aware of their 211 service. If you call 211, they can connect you with one of their 28 service agencies to get you whatever help you may need. If you have trouble getting through when you call 211, you can also reach out to Center Helps. Center Helps is a partner agency that also provides the referral information you need for help. And also I wanna remind you, if you know of someone in the neighborhood or you suspect that someone in the neighborhood is having difficulty uh, and, and needs help, uh, but perhaps uh, can't help themselves, <clears throat> please call 211 and notify the United Way. Thank you. Mount Nittany Health has dedicated a COVID-19 hotline available to the community also. 814-231-7111. The COVID hotline will be answered daily from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. For the most up-to-date information, visit mountnittany.org backslash coronavirus. That's mountnittany.org backslash coronavirus. Mount Nittany has also opened a new wing. You probably, some of you have seen this in the local news media. Has opened a new wing dedicated to treating COVID-19. <clears throat> it's a, another move on the part of Mount Nittany to be well positioned with its current resources to deal with anything that comes emerges out of the out of the uh, COVID-19. Uh, also, I want to assure you that uh, it, uh, in in this area that our testing uh, resources are robust. So we are, in fact, in a very good position. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Who knows what the future holds? But nevertheless, I want to assure you uh, that uh, that we. Uh, our, our medical facilities are, are ready to, uh, when needed. Finally, on the, on the, on the medical issues, uh, I'm getting a lot of questions from people who want to know why the public cannot know where cases are uh, in the county and who has them. Well, obviously, uh, the privacy issues are paramount in terms of, uh, of, terms of people knowing who has the virus, uh, and it is uh, not possible to give more precise geographical location uh, with the information we get from the State Department of Health. The State Department of Health provides information only on a countywide basis. So there's, you may hear that uh, this is not true in other states. You may hear that uh, some other places in Pennsylvania by you hear rumors that they are able to find this out. I can assure you it's not true. We're following the law and, and, and the directions of the Pennsylvania Department of Health. <clears throat> of course, again, I want to tell you that uh, you, you emphasize that community members should take everyday precautions, like staying home, except for life-sustaining activities, wash your hands frequently, and avoid touching your face. You play the crucial role in limiting the spread of COVID-19. COVID, uh, and wear masks, of course, when, when, when you're outside. Now, uh, I, I wanna add to this that uh, I wanna compliment the State College and in fact the Center Region community on the, the uh, way that they are following these directives, particularly the staying home directive. 
um, doing a remarkable job. And I can assure you that other communities not too distant from us are having many more problems uh, than we are. And so, for whatever reason, please stick to it. It's, I know it's difficult, it's, uh, it's hard to deal, the, deal with this kind of thing when you, when you can't see what's the end, where the end is, what's the end of the tunnel, but nevertheless it is critically important and it's having very, very positive effects. Now I want to turn my attention to a, to a, a policy and political issue of uh, critical importance to, to the borough of State College and in fact to all small cities across the country. <clears throat> In the first stimulus package, the two trillion dollar package that was passed uh, was some two weeks or ten days ago, uh, the only money that was uh, set aside for cities was set aside for for large cities, cities of over five hundred thousand. No money was set aside for smaller cities. Now, just to give you an idea how, in my opinion, crazy that is, uh, think think about that under five five hundred thousand. Uh, that would leave Pittsburgh out, for example. That would leave Miami, Florida out. Uh, that would leave out uh, a whole passable of cities across the country that you and I consider to be large cities. But that's neither here nor there. There's also no money for cities our size, or cities of 100,000 or 50,000. And Pennsylvania is full of these kinds of cities. Uh, why do we need the money? Well, think about it. Everybody generally thinks that the cities run on, uh, only on tax revenue. Well, that's not true. We have other revenue streams that are critically important to the city. For example, we're not receiving any more money now from any money now from parking. Uh, our uh, refuse billing has dropped dramatically because commercial buildings and commercial operations that are now closed are not paying any more to have their refuse picked up because they're not generating any refuse. Water bills are down because uh, there are many, many fewer people here now as a result of the, law, the, the departure of some, so many students. Uh, and that, for a long period of time, that is a major impact. Uh, probably in the future, we're going to have a delay in tax payment dates, probably. So pushing back, for example, the date for payment of real estate taxes. Well, that has an immediate impact on, on the borough's revenue streams. Fortunately, we, unlike some other cities, don't have major medical expenses, uh, <clears throat> except for taking care <clears throat> of, our, of our employees uh, in terms of uh, medical, our medical costs for, for insurance. But we don't run the hospital, we don't run clinics and that sort of thing, is, and so we're, we're not involved in that. That's, that's the responsibility of Mount Nittany Medical Center and Geisinger and others, and they also have direct needs in this regard. So I'm asking you today to call or write your congressperson and your senators and tell them to include direct funding for small cities in the next stimulus package. It's very important, and I certainly would appreciate it if you'll help. Thanks, and stay well.